depending on your standards of practice for the association that you're a member of, uh, you may or may not uh, be required or feel comfortable pulling off the access panels. Uh, personally, I feel like you can't do a, uh, a thorough uh, inspection of the AC parts and systems and components unless you pull the access panels off, so we do that on all of our inspections. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll start with the label. We can see that uh, this is a two and a half ton system based on the model number and then the serial number. Uh, we can tell that this is a 2001 unit. So this is a 17 year old uh, two and a half ton Linux unit. And uh, we're looking at the label here. It should tell us whether this has an electric heat strip installed here in Florida. We, that's pretty common. Uh, they're supposed to be marked with the size of the electric heater. There's nothing in here that indicates that's installed. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull the covers off. I've already removed the screws to save some time. We're going to take that cover off. We're going to take the cover off for the uh, AC coils. And then we're going to pull the uh, cover off for the uh, air filter and the return air plenum. As you can see, uh, right off the bat, the capacitor for the fan motor is extremely rusted and corroded. That tells us that this thing is probably ready for replacement. Uh, we can just barely see up here that there is an electric heater installed. Uh, we don't know what size that is yet, uh, but we do know that that is a violation right there because it's not listed on the, on the uh, label for the panel cover. Inside the blower wheels, we can see that there, there's over a half inch of debris built up on these blower wheels. Uh, some of the spaces between the, the squirrel cage, the blades on the squirrel cage, are completely filled with contaminants. Uh, when this fan motor is turning, the system is actually wobbling because it's so out of balance because of the debris built up there. Uh, the coils are really corroded here. Uh, there's a lot of rust in the condensate pan, and then when we come down here to look in the return air plenum, it's just completely filled with contaminants, dust, and debris. Uh, we're going to try to pull the filter out, which is very difficult because of the way that it's installed. You can see that it's failed in here. It's fell down in between the unit, and we can tell that with the dust and the dirt and the debris, uh, that this unit is probably going to be uh, in very, very poor condition on the underside of the coils. This is our filter. Obviously, it's failed, needs to be replaced. And then we like to get our camera or our inspection mirror, look at the underside of the coils. Uh, improper airflow through the Air conditioning coils is a leading cause of compressor failure, and it, uh, it, it challenges that refrigeration gas to be able to change states uh, in the coil like it's supposed to do when it comes from the outdoor unit, it goes through the coil and goes back to the outdoor unit. So airflow is a big deal. We want to make sure those coils are clean. This unit right here is uh, beyond the end of its useful life already. Uh, we can call out some more technical things or some more deficiencies, but we found enough to go ahead and uh, recommend replacing this entire system.